Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. I'm speaking words right now, and if you know English, you can understand what I'm saying. But how? Well, sometimes in order to find out how a healthy brain works, we need to study a damage brain. Aphasia is a communication disorder that results from damage to the parts of the brain involved in language. And in the late 19th century, patients with aphasia allowed scientists to better study how our brain processes and produces words and sentences. Through their studies, they found two main regions in the left hemisphere that were associated with language. Broca's area, which is located in the left frontal lobe, is linked to speech production. Patients who have lesions in this area may understand what I'm saying right now fairly well, but would have a hard time forming sentences of their own. On the other hand, Wernicke's area, located in the temporal lobe, is thought to be important in speech comprehension. If someone has damage in this area, they can produce language just fine, but it would be a meaningless mis smash of words like red bottle brushes hairy sky. But this is just the classical model of language, so there is bound to be a few flaws. Recent studies using imaging techniques have shown that the regions around these two areas are also active during language processing. And even more, the right frontal lobe may be involved in comprehending the semantics or meaning of sentences. And there is still a lot that we don't even know about how the brain actually does all of this. However, it still begs the question, how are humans just able to understand language so easily. Sure, learning a second language as an adult is pretty hard, but it comes so naturally to children. Well, the linguist Noam Chomsky believes that there is something called universal grammar, meaning that there are elements of every known language that are similar, like nouns, adjectives, and verbs, and that young children are hardwired to understand and learn language. So a lot of language and how we learn it is by association, but it may also be innate. But either way, I can send information from my brain to yours just by changing the shape of my vocal track, and that's pretty darn cool. So what language would you like to learn? I would like to learn Italian so I can be super suave all the time, but tell me yours in the comments section below. I'm Blocko, this has been Life Noggin, don't forget to keep on thinking.